Joe Mazzula won't be fired anytime soon, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, we're hearing that correctly. Brad Stevens came out and confirmed that Joe Mazzula will remain the head coach. For anybody that was hoping that he pulled the Greg Popovich, you know, or and just come down and become coach again, Brad Stevens, that ain't happening. Joe Mazzula is staying like he should, okay? This is a guy who I personally think will be a good coach in the NBA. Brad Stevens confirmed with ESPN reporting that he said he's a terrific leader. He's only going to get better at, at anything that he can learn from this year because he's constantly trying to learn and he's accountable. End quote. Brad Stevens said about Joe Mazzulla. Mazzulla guided the Celtics to a regular season record of 57 and 25 in his first season as head coach. He's literally 34 years old and he wasn't even one of the front row assistants last year. Like he literally was a behind the bench assistant who was elevated to the position when the Celtics suspended M.A. Udoka, M.A. Udoka for the season. Eventually they ended up, you know, terminating M.A. Udoka who became the Houston Rockets head coach. But Joe Mazzulla, we saw him grow as a coach. The man's 34. The guy's like 11 years older than me. He was 11 years old when I was born. Okay, the guy's still wet behind the ears and this team's still wet behind the ears. He's learning. And this year, this team was great last year at defense, but they fell short last year in the finals because of their offense. So Joe Mazzulla was tasked this offseason and this season. He spent it just tooling around with the different offensive sets and and things that they were they were trying to do with this offense. Okay. They, they got the offense to be really good this year. The defense suffered as a result, but we knew last year they fell short because of the offense. It, it sputtered in the playoffs, in the finals specifically. So with that being said, you look at this and you're like, okay, he went into this season not focusing on the defense, hoping the defense would carry over and focusing on an offense that struggled last year in crucial games. And the offense got really good. Yes, he he kind of made his team ride or die by the three, even though, you know, when they got away from it during the playoffs, they actually won the games against the Heat. But then, you know, in the first three games that they lost and in the final game they lost, they went back to ride or dying with the threes. And I think there's just things he's going to learn as a coach, when to make those choices, when to make those decisions. And it's just an experience. It'll probably bring, I know they're talking about bringing Steven Silas in as a assistant coach. So I think that could be a good hiring for them if they, you know, you bring in Silas and he'll help. He was, you know, he architected the number one offense with Luka Doncic. So there's that. And Rick Carlisle was the coach, I'm pretty sure. So it blows your mind to think about that. So I think, you know, rebuilding the bench, you know, some more guys are going to be leaving assistant coaches to join Emma Udoka. So I'm definitely excited to hear your guys' thoughts down below.